Hi, my name is Alex from Inside Gadgets, and today I'm going to show you how to program an ATtiny85 using an Arduino. The Arduino that I'm using is the Arduino Dumil and Ove. I'm not sure how to say that, but we'll just go with that. You should be able to also use the Arduino Uno um, and probably these other ones. These ones shouldn't have any problems. So before we get started, I'd just like to thank this website for actually showing me how to do it myself. It has a nice little guide with pictures and the zip files that you need to get uh, this working. So you're probably wondering why would we change from the Arduino and what's this ATtiny85 you mentioned? Well the Arduino contains an Atmel ATmega328 and what that is it's a microcontroller. So that controls what the Arduino does, what when you put your program in that's where it goes into and it controls all these the pins up here, the pins down here and what the AT Tiny 85 is, it's a smaller microcontroller. So, one of the main benefits of changing is you don't need all these other components. The next thing is the price. The AT Tiny 85 is about $3 Australian, whereas the Arduino board is about $38. So, you've saved $35 just then. Uh, once you put in the other components of the AT Tiny 85, you probably will drop to like thirty or thirty two dollars uh, that you've saved alright so enough of this comparison let's just get the AT Tiny 85 working so we go to the website where we were before and we just scroll down and just download the AT Tiny 45 underscore 85 zip file and it says we just need to locate our Arduino sketch folder and so I've already downloaded it up here and we just double click to open that and now we just find the Arduino directory so for me it's program file slash Arduino I'm on 21 and we go to the hardware folder and then all you do I'll just extract this to any directory and you just copy just drag this over to this which I've already done okay so I'm assuming you've used the Arduino uh, software a bit before um, and so once we once you copied over that file uh, you'll see when you select board you can select the 45 or the 85 and normally you should have had this one selected or um, just depending which one you have here but for this uh, programming you'll need this one uh, with the AT Mega 328 um, so we'll just scroll down here and here we've got the pinout of the AT Tiny 85 and so we can see uh, oops let me just focus and so if, I don't know if you can see it but there's like a little circle just here and that indicates that this one, this one is pin 1, and 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, just like in the diagram here. So we're just going to put the AT Tiny to the side for the moment, and just go ahead and plug in your Arduino. Uh, now we just go back to the Arduino software, and we select the right one, and now we choose to open the sketch called Arduino ISP so this allows us to utilize the Arduino to actually program the AT Tiny 85 so we just upload that to the board and we just wait until that's that's been done once that's done we can start connecting it up like shown on this diagram Okay, so it looks like it's done. So what I'm just going to do is just unplug it, just for safety's sake. All right, let's get our AT Tiny plugged in as in this diagram. So first thing we want to do is connect the VCC 
to the Arduino 5 volts as you can see there as you can barely see and we just connect the ground to the Arduino ground and then we just connect all these the other wires Oops. and it goes to pin 13 the next one down goes to pin 12 which is a bit harder to reach and the next one goes into pin 11 and then we connect pin 1 which is actually the reset to pin 10 okay and now that's all plugged in ready to go so we've got the AT Tiny connected to the Arduino and the Arduino is now plugged in we're going to go over to the Arduino software and we're going to Firstly, change the board to an 80 tiny 85, and we're going to say that uh, we want to try out the LED blinking program. Now, the first thing you'll notice, or what you should notice, is that pin output it has is 13. Um, our Arduino doesn't have that many pins, so that obviously needs to be changed. You can actually see which pin to use up here. So this is pin zero. What these ones mean is these are the digital digital in or out. So zero is digital zero, um, D1 is digital one, and so on. Now with the analogs, it's a bit different. When you want to reference, say, to analog read, you wouldn't specify analog read two for this one. You would actually specify analog read one and for three it's for three that's very convenient and for if you want to do this pin you would specify number two okay so we know we want to use pin zero as our lead output so we go back over here and we would just change it to zero and change it here as well zero and zero again now before we actually do anything let's just go ahead and connect our our resistor and our LED so we wanted pin 0 I mean we want a digital 0 so we connect the resistor we connect the LED the long connector is the one that goes positive so we connect it like that and we connect in our ground Ching. okay and now we can go ahead and just double check that everything's right and we just upload that to the the AT Tiny 85 so it will be very it won't use as many bytes as before and those error messages are okay to come up and now what you'll notice it's all completed but what you'll notice is nothing's actually happening so what we need to do is to get it to work we actually disconnect the reset but before I before I do that I'll just disconnect all these other pins just to be safe okay and now we just disconnect the reset and we can see it working it's just blinking for a second and then pausing for a second and that's it